So I would like to introduce you to Du Felst Meer, which granted is German and I am terrible at pronouncing German. Roughly translates to I miss you in English. Um, this is a player that is, as you can see, pretty new. So probably in the last band wave or the previous band wave since the new one just went out about a week ago or about four days ago at this point. And he's absolutely garbage for having one, two, three, four event vehicle. Mm, you know, five, oh, I don't know. Yes, no, not six. Yeah, so he has five premiums on this account. He's atrocious. And all he uses in this vi in this uh, act, in this battle in is the current ones is these two AAs. And you can see he's not very good. That's really weird. Why would you not be very good in an AA? Well, he's not using them like a normal player would. As you can see, he's playing it like an idiot. I don't even think he gets a single kill in this battle, from what I can tell. He gets a lot of assists, so if he's going for assists, that's exactly what he's doing. And I don't understand the logic of playing like this. <laughs> he's... <sighs> so I tried to record this earlier. Unfortunately, this replay didn't work. I tried to record it with a friend of mine who was trying to, trying to get his honest reaction at this stuff. And... Unfortunately, the file would not work. I had to actually delete the file because it just will not function. Um, based on what it was, though, he had a lot of questions about why this is even still allowed. And they, your guess is as good as mine. I wish I could explain why people get away with this, doing this stuff, as long as they do. But um, Someone also asked, um, I guess CSGO about five or six months ago had a wave of bans that were unnecessary bans because of an update and it was because of the vax ai update now yes i understand that ai updates or sorry ai could potentially have issues with that but it's still better than eac and the reason why valve had that issue is because of an update and they had to roll back bans that makes perfect sense that they're gonna have to do that because they made a mistake and they had to roll back problems with it the biggest issue is that I don't actually think that ban was put out because of player performance in game. Um, theories on that one was that it was actually banning people based on account value, which would have been because people were possibly because let's let's be honest, a lot of CS:GO uh, like stolen stuff on those accounts are like essentially money laundering. Um, that's what CS:GO feels like it is at this point. When knife when a knife is worth like three thousand dollars. It essentially feels like money laundering, especially since a lot of the money conversions or transfers are through either Russia or, you know, China. Um, so it's the same idea that I kind of think about in this regard. So, um, yeah, so in that regard, it's still better than EAC. EAC is still absolute garbage and doesn't really help our community at all by mitigating cheaters because EAC is allowing this to perpetuate and is you know people are getting away with this stuff constantly now granted like i said this guy is atrociously bad because all he's doing is shooting at targets which essentially it feels like he's just doing assists for making his stats look worse but if you would do that then he's probably actually what i would assume that this person is doing is he's doing it for a task so when you have a task, it's like, get 35 assists or whatever. That's that's what it feels like this player is doing. But he's doing it with cheats on <laughs> in, like, the worst way possible. <laughs> so, yeah, the upside is that he's terrible. And I've checked out the replays for him before. He doesn't do anything that's, like, overly good. But, like, you've seen that saw with his record, he's just terrible. He doesn't know how to play the game. He's has to pay for whatever cheats he's using, and he's just bad now like i said he dies twice in this replay and when i asked my friend about it who had the original audio with me he was telling me that you know how, how do they get away from them for so long and it, what it reality is it's it's complete inaction from gaijin now banning is supposed to work in waves which is good that gaijin does that the problem is we haven't seen much change to the anti-cheat in literally years i know that they're trying to do another anti-cheat but as far as I know that's already being bypassed because people can already turn it off in going into a battle which to me is just you're literally letting people get away with literal murder again because you're banning people 3,000 battle 3,000 people um, since November it's been like 35,000 people 
because the darkthunder.io that I mentioned in one of my posts um, tracks all players and it actually tracks what squadron they were from. So around the time I did the whole THC investigation, there was uh, there was a person from THC that had actually gotten banned the same month that I was investigating the other person from THC, which I'm not going to mention here because it's already been overused. But it's it shows that there is a blatant disregard for updating the anti-cheat at all. So the good thing is that site actually tracks every person that gets banned because they import the um, Excel spreadsheet basically from the site. And so it says what squadron they're from through the API. But it's insane to me that Gaijin will ban in waves, but they won't correct anything, which is what you're supposed to do with anti-cheats. You're supposed to, hey, we'll ban in waves, but hey, we're going to update the anti-cheat to mitigate the issue. Well, Gaijin doesn't do that. EAC, still according to my game files, hasn't changed except for, like, knowing that it's in the game since, like, 2019, or at least the version that we have in-game. And according to EAC's website, they update their system every, like, month, basically. But I don't even see us updating it at all, or whatever system that they set in place for this game isn't working. Now, ignore the thermals, this vehicle does not affect us. Actually, it doesn't. No, it does have thermals. I don't even know if it does or not. I don't think it does. But, um, if it does or doesn't, whatever. But in, in even regard, it's it's stupid that it's still getting away with it and nothing is being done about it. And he dies again from the same player. So, as always, I hope you have a rest of your morning, day, evening, or night. Have a good one.